Yo, what's going on guys? It is Shabs, you legends. I got a special video for you guys today. So pretty much in the comment section below for the past couple of, I want to say weeks and days. Uh, you guys have been asking for my player instructions, custom tactics, and what else is there? I'm not sure, but pretty much how I use the 4-2-3-1 with the right mids and left mids, the wide variation, which is what you're seeing on screen, with this god of a squad, which I ended up going with. You know, I had four or five different squads. I asked you guys in the comments below. The one that got the most votes was Team 4, actually, uh, with the likes of Ibrahimovic, Player the Hazard in there, there was Sadio Mane's Inform card, there was Maldini as my only legend, there was Pogba, Inform Kante, there was Inform Kawaka. There was a lot of good players with balance, but I wanted a star who could change the game for the best. I tried Georgie Best, I bought Georgie Best, I put him at right mid, and then I switched him over to Cam in the, when I paused the game. He was phenomenal! But he was weak and... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's not that he was weak, it was more so... He didn't play as a cam, he played more as a... I want to say midfielder. I haven't checked his work rates yet, but he seemed to back down and, and get deep a lot for some reason. I don't know why, he was perfect at right mid, but I just didn't think he would get that involved. So I opted off for Del Piero, and let me say, I do not regret that decision at all, guys. I've only played four games with him, I won him for 1.64 million coins. <sighs> he was about 1.3, 1.4 before here, beforehand when I, you know, before the market crash. The market crash, the crash before the crash, but I bought him for 1.64. I hope he's, he's not gonna, I hope he's not gonna dip, like, to 1.2, 1.3. I'm just gonna keep it cool for now. I got four games of Sims, three goals, three, six, seven, seven contributions, four games. Absolutely phenomenal. So let's just get into my team before I get into the teams. This formation, the player instructions you need, the players you need for it, the custom tactics I'm rocking. Uh, basically, guys, this formation is probably top three for me in FIFA. Alongside 4 1 2 and 2 narrow, I would say the 4 2 3 1 2, which is on screen right now, these two would be top two for me. And then a close third. Would have to be the four, the four, three, two, one, the one with the right forward and left forward. Uh, yeah, these are the top three in the game for me. But without further ado, guys, as you can see, we got the man Romelu Lukaku at striker. I'm in love with this guy. I bought his card. I was like, you know what? Let me try it. Wow, I'm just amazed. I love this card. So eight goals in two, eleven games with him. Maralas, you know, standard BPL guy. Just there for the chemistry, to be honest. We got in from Valencia, who I just bought. I still haven't found the perfect fit for the right mid spot. I usually like two right mids, my left mid and right mid to be wingers, so they can cut inside and score. But I want to try something out with Valencia, you know. I'm looking for physical, he's got it. He's not, he doesn't have skill moves, which is what I want, but he's got great crossing, great passing, great pace, great dribbling, and great defending, so he can come back and help me on defense. We'll see how it goes. If he doesn't work too well, obviously when the, when I pause the game, uh, when the halftime comes around, I always put Martial in, no matter what, he's an absolute beast. Look at almost 400 games for me, man. 319 games for Martial. Always going to be in the squad. And then I got the man in from Kante. 136 games. Best purchase I've, I've made. Best midfielder in FIFA, hands down. Hands down. Aside from Legends, best FIFA, best midfielder in FIFA, hands down. And then I got the man Del Piero, of course. I showed you guys before. Marquisio in there. I need the chemistry for Chiellini. Solid card, though. A lot of people in the FIFA community tell, them, tell me that uh, he's not good. That he's useless. He's not found. I find him a beast. I find him as an engine. He's really... He's like Vidal, but he's got less physical. I, I would put it like that. And he has skill moves, you know? I got Chiellini. Chiellini. Oh my. I gotta show you guys some highlights with Chiellini, man. He is by far the best defender I've used in this game. I've used Boateng. I've used the Smalling, Sergio Ramos. I have used Legend Maldini. I've used Legend Blanc. I've used... Uh, did I say Boateng? I've used Boateng. He's up there, man. I would say Maldini is better than him, but he is number two, hands down. And him and Smalling, man, they made a, make a perfect partnership. Smalling, as you can see, I got 109 games with him. He's going to stay on my team for a long time. Kyle Walker, he's a beast. He's the man back there. And then Alexandro, arguably my best defender. This two pairing, man, Chiellini and Alexandro. Mucho buenos. Very good combo. And then I got De Gea in net. I just bought him, guys. Jack Butlin has been absolute crap for me these past few games. Man, I, I think they patched him. I, uh, someone in my comments below said they nerfed him, and I was like, wait, they definitely nerfed him because he was playing like utter crap. So David Hale's my man, 90 overall goalkeeper. And then obviously I got the legend, Ross Bakley at Cam. 
what can I say? Look at that. 27 contributions and 34 games for us. 81 overall cam. Come on, man. I showed you guys the highlights of him. Not, nothing much to be said there. Masha is a sub. Son is a super sub. Both amazing players. Just to show you, Son. 108 games with him. But guys, let's get into it. So the first thing, so if you don't know already, as you can know by the title, this is going to be a full breakdown of the 4-2-3-1 narrow and wide, sorry. Uh, the narrow is good too, but I like the wide because of the midfielders. Uh, so basically, guys, I'm going to show you guys my player instructions first of all. Because that's what that was really highly requested. So player instructions I got, stay back while attacking from my right back. Stay back while attacking from my left back. And then I got Marquisio to man mark and stay back while attacking. And then I got Conte to man mark and stay back while attacking. Uh, you want to have both your CDMs to stay back while attacking and both of them at man mark. Uh, I feel they, they sit back better and they defend better when they're on man mark versus uh, just regular. Uh, and oddly enough, guys, I just want to see Conte's work rates. Medium high. I want to see uh, Marquisio's very quickly. High, high. Uh, Marquisio doesn't push up as much as Conte does. It's really weird. Conte, he's always up and then Marquisio's always filling back for him. It's weird to say, but Conte's kind of been a weak link for me. Obviously, he's never going to be a weak link because of how well he uh, wins the ball back. But long story short, they work really well together. Del Piero, the cam, you want to have him at stay forward. Very important. And then the, uh, another instruction very important is free roam. You want him to free roam. You don't want him to stick to his position. You want him to free roam and stay forward. Uh, if you have a cam that's more of a striker or a beast, like a tank like Pogba, he can get into the air. I would also say put him to get into the box for the cross. Otherwise, keep it at stay forward and free roam. Then, uh, as we continue on the player instructions here, Valencia, I got him at... Uh, oh, that's wrong, actually. That was for Georgie Best. Uh, cut inside, get in behind. I wanted to cut inside, get behind. Obviously, my wingers, both of them actually, both my midfielders, to cut inside, get in behind. The striker guys, get in behind, press back line. If you have a striker that has over 80 pace, just do that. And then Lukaku, because he's such a tank, I might just keep it at neutral uh, instead of getting behind. But I haven't decided yet if I want to do that. I like getting behind. He does get in behind really well. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Wing backs, I got staying back while attacking. My midfielders, I got getting behind, cut inside. Cam, uh, stay forward, free roam. CDMs, uh, get, stay back while attacking and man mark striker getting behind and press the back line that's the squad guys this is the player injections and without further ado here is my custom tactics that I use that I managed to get gold one early within every single weekend league here it is boys uh, it works well with this formation I gotta say it's, it's it's so smooth just like butter man it works really well so speed I got 85 um, Generally, if you're using a possession-based formation, you want to keep the speed lower. But, but hear me out. Because it's such a defensive formation, I want to be able to play sp uh, with speed on the counter-attack. Whenever I have Del Piero, Lukaku, and Morales kind of, you know, on the counter, I want them to play with speed and pass fast and, and make runs and stuff like that. So, the speed, the higher it is with the defensive formation, the, the more easier it is for you to create a counter-attack that's successful. Because with three players up top, it's very hard when you only have a striker or cam up top. Uh, but yeah, and then I got passing at just 50, regular. Just keep it at balanced, organized positioning. You don't want your build-out play to ruin your defensive posture, so keep it at organized. Passing, I got 65. Crossing, 60. Shooting, 65. Uh, passing and crossing. So uh, I got the passing and crossing off of a pro player, actually, uh, who goes by the name of Boris Legend. I've, I'm sure you've heard of him. I kind of went off his custom tactics for chance creation and then crossing I got at 60 just because I want my players to get into the box more often than usual. And then I want positioning to be organized. You know, a lot of people have it at free form. I put it at organized because I found when I put it on organized, my players are not out of position, which doesn't leave me susceptible to counter attacks. When I have it on free form, guys like Kante, guys like Marquisio are at the striker position. And guys like Lukaku are back down because he has to cover for him. Kind of leaves me in a bad situation. If I had like Hullet and Pogba at CDM, I'd be like, you know what? Free form, we're good. We Gucci, but I'm not really there yet. Pressure, guys, I got 63. You want to keep your pressure pretty high, especially if you're confident that you're better than the other player. If you don't have high pressure, if you don't have at least 60 pressure when you're better than the other player, you're going to lose. You're going to get unlucky. You're going to lose. You're not going to pressure him. Or if he's going to feel free, he's going to feel like, he's, like there's nothing behind him. They're like... He's, you have to pressure him in order to win, to get the ball back as often as possible, especially if you're better than your opponent, guys. Very important. Aggression, 50. Keep it at the same as, as it was uh, when it was default. Team width, I got 45. It's at 50. I usually, usually put it to 45. Uh, but this changes in game, guys. Sometimes I put, I put it at 50. Sometimes I put it at 55. If I feel like I need more width in my attack. Uh, I play with that a lot, but 45 seems to be the good no number for me. And then cover, make sure it's always at offside trap. Keep it at cover, guys. Your defensive backline will not be all over the place. They won't, you won't be like, whoa, why did they just glitch out of place? That's because you're trying to get your opponents offside, hence offside trap. 
Just keep it on cover, guys. You'll thank me later. Those are my custom instructions, custom tactics, and player instructions for uh, FIFA 17 4 2 3 1 wide. I'm going to show you some highlights now with this game and with this formation and tell you why it's such a dominant formation in this game. Let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see, there's gameplay in the background. I'm going to show you guys kind of how I play and how the highlights I got. Uh, I played the knockout tournament for the weekend league and I qualified. Uh, a little spoiler alert there. But anyways, for the CDMs, guys, you want one CDM that can buzz around the midfield and win the ball back. A guy like N'Golo Kante, a guy like Renato Sanchez are perfect for this situation. You can even use guys like Vidal and Musa Dembele for that situation. And then on the other CDM, you want a guy that can join the attack but also get back and win the ball for you as well and defend. So a guy perfect for that situation would also be Vidal, Paul Pogba, Ruud Hullet, Mateus, Vieira. A lot of good options there, guys. Uh, even guys like Felipe Melo. Uh, Fernandinho would be good for that situation if you're looking for a cheaper player. Uh, but yeah, and then the cam guys, you want to spend your most amount of coins in your cam. A guy that's perfect situation if you're if you're like in the budget area is Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, a good guy for who's cheap for that situation is uh, Julian Drexler. Player the month, player the month, not player the month. Uh, SBC Payet is very good in that situation as well. Obviously, very cheap option. Ross Barkley, the best cheap option in the game. And then guys. For your defense, you want to spend your coins on your defense as well. You don't want a bad back line because that'll hurt your defense. Even if the midfield, midfield is sitting back with your defenders, if you have whole build defenders, you will struggle immensely with this formation. Uh, but yeah, and then your left and right midfielders, guys, you want to have wingers. Typically guys that'll join the attack that are, it is preferably that they have high physical, high pace, at least four star skill moves, and the ability to finish the ball. Perfect guys for the situation on the left side would be Kevin Morales. Uh, I would say Therese Martins, Lorenzo Insania would be good for that situation. El Sharawe, uh, Play de Son, Anthony Marshall, those kind of guys. And then on the right hand side, you want to use guys like uh, Georgie Best was amazing in that situation, but obviously he's a little bit out of budget for some people. You can even use guys like Gareth Bale, Messi, uh, you know, pretty much wingers that'll join the attack and score goals. Mkhitaryan looked amazing for me. Uh, played them on Sterling was okay, but he wasn't that good with physicality. Um, a player that's very cheap and probably the best player I've used that was cheap in that situation is Mikel Antonio from West Ham United. He's got 80 physical, 87 pace, and he's got good finishing, and he has four-star skills, guys. You got you, When you cut him sign with that, with that boy and uh, you hold off the ball with the L tr left trigger and you pass it inside, nobody's going to stop that, guys. So that's a good cheap option. And then obviously your striker, you can either use two types of players. You can either use a tank like I am with Lukaku or Benteke or something like that. Or you can use a pacey guy that's going to get in behind. A guy like Niang. Ronaldo works perfectly in that situation if you have the coins. A guy like Aguero. You know, those kind of players that are getting behind. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this formation review and the full in-depth custom tactics, player instructions, and all that good stuff. If you liked it, guys, smash that like button. If you're going to use it in the Weekend League, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know after the Weekend League how it worked out for you. I hope you guys liked this video. Leave a like if you liked it, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.